Do you ever have pain on the bottom of your foot? That planner's fasciitis that just won't go away? Well, I'm gonna show you three different ways to help that planner's fasciitis get better. Hey there, Coach Tyler here. And if you have pain on the bottom of your foot, or if you've been diagnosed by a doctor by having plantar's fasciitis, then you can know how much pain this can cause you throughout the day. Every step you take, it's a constant reminder. But the good news is, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can try relieving your plantar's fasciitis. I'm gonna show you how to relieve the tension in the muscles, how to activate the muscles on the bottom of your foot, and then also how to strengthen your feet so that you don't end up getting plantar's fasciitis again. So, without further ado, let's head on over to the whiteboard and I'll show you why you have plantar fasciitis in the first place. I'll see you there. So this is a drawing of your foot. This is your lower leg coming down like this, and these are the bones of your foot like this. And this blue band right here is a strip of what's called fascia that runs from basically your big toe all the way to your heel. And what that does is it keeps all the bones of your foot together, and it also helps maintain the arch of your foot. Now, over time, if you wear shoes that don't allow your feet to move very much, or if you walk further than your body's capable of doing, or any other reason, maybe you just step on something real sharp, you can actually cause inflammation to this piece of fascia, and that is what plantar fasciitis essentially is. And oftentimes, it can manifest as pain all through here, in the arch, in the heel, and every step can be excruciating. So, the first thing we need to do is loosen up the fascial tissue and the muscles right there, and then we'll activate them so that you can actually start feeling better with this plantar fasciitis again. So let's head on over to that first movement. Oh, before we go any further, I should just mention that I'm not your doctor, so make sure you get these things cleared by them first, okay? We're here to help you feel better in your body, but be smart, okay? Yeah, yeah. When you have pain in the bottom of your foot or plantar fasciitis, one of the first things you should try is mobilizing the tissues of the bottom of the feet. So I'm gonna show you how to do that from a chair in the comfort of your own home. So what you're gonna do is cross one leg over the other and don't make fun of me because I have pink and sparkly toenails. My four-year-old painted them and we had a fun time. But what you're gonna do is look at the bottom of your foot, this arch right here, is where that fascial band is that connects from your heel to the front of your foot. And so what you wanna do is basically pull that fascial band down towards your heel to try and create length and space in there and really, really just take your time with it. It can be a slow motion like this and you can use a little bit of lotion. If you need to, you can grab a spoon or a different tool to push against if your fingers are too weak. But the goal would be just to sit here and just loosen up the bottom of this fascia, starting at one side and slowly working your way across the foot all the way from the, the, toe, the, the, the big toe side to the pinky toe side, slowly and surely and then even digging into the heel a little bit, but just giving yourself a little bit of a foot massage and again, creating that space and that stretch on the fascia from the big toe all the way to the heel. When you do this, you can put that foot back down on the ground and you go, ooh, that feels pretty good. The foot feels more open, it feels more uh, loose and it feels like you've got rid of some of that pain. So try doing this every day. You could even do this twice a day, especially if you have one foot that's more painful than the other and try to loosen it up and then give it a little bit more rest. You don't have to go out there and you know walk a ton and stand on a ton. Give it some rest after you do this type of motion. So it's really good to do this before bed to really help your foot feel significantly better. So like I said, give this a shot every single day and see if that starts helping you feel better from that plantar fasciitis. Real quick, before I get to the next movement, I wanted to mention that if you like this video, then you'll love the other videos that we release every single week on our channel. So, if you're interested in learning how to move your body better so you can feel better in your body, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then click the little bell icon so you can get notified every time we release a new video just like this one. Okay. Back to the next movement. If you have pain in the bottom of your foot or plantar fasciitis, oftentimes the cause can be that you have no activation of your arch right here. So you have a really flat foot and that can cause that fascial band that goes from the heel to the front of the toe to get stretched out and, and, and cause pain. So one of my favorite things to do is take a piece of paper and learn how to activate the muscles of the arch of your foot. So put this paper on the ground and then what you're gonna do is put your heel on one end 
spread your toes as wide as you can. That might be hard for you to do at first, but spread your toes as wide as you can, place them on the paper, and you'll see, like, I have a little bit of an arch here that's natural, but not a ton. But how do we start activating that arch and bringing more awareness to this arch? Well, what you can do is drive your toes and the ball of your foot into the ground like this, with the goal of creating a nice little scrunch. Do you see this little scrunch line in the paper right here? That little scrunch line in the paper is me activating my arch of my foot as I do this exercise. So then you can relax and it should go back down and then scrunch uh, up again. And you're not just scrunching with your toes here, by the way, you're not lifting your foot up like this. What you're trying to do is scrunch from the ball of your foot. So it's almost like imagine your, your, your toes pressing down, but the ball of your foot is moving closer to your heel. And you'll know you're doing a good job when the ball of your foot is still in contact with the ground and you're creating that ripple effect on the paper, okay? So why this is so important is we're activating the muscles of the bottom of the foot. If you stand flat footed like this, then you're relying on the structures of the foot, which is the fascia and the bones to be able to hold your entire body weight. When you learn how to activate the arch of your foot, like we're talking about right there on the ground, all of a sudden the muscles get involved and the fascia can relax a little bit, which should help relieve you from foot pain and from plantar fasciitis. So be patient with yourself. Practice this for like, you know, one to two minutes every day on the foot that's having issues just to get that arch activated. And then when you're out in daily life, start to think about how that feels when you're walking. And it's slowly but surely, you'll start to feel that arch get more and more active. And like I said, that should really help make your foot significantly smarter and less painful in the long run. Okay, before I get to the last movement that I really think is gonna make a big difference on how your body feels, I wanted to mention that the best thing for you to do after this video is over is to click the link below or head on over to reshape.com. That's because we've built a new quiz that creates a personalized follow along workout for you based on your individual goals and your individual capabilities. It's the best workout for beginners, people who wanna gain strength, more flexibility so that you can feel better in your body. Oh, and you can try it out for free. Okay, once you've taken the time to loosen up the muscles and the tissues on your feet and then learn how to activate the muscles on the bottom of the feet to support your arch and create smarter feet that are in less pain, the next step is to strengthen your feet. Well, how do you strengthen your feet? Well, very simple, balance. It's one of the best ways to strengthen the feet and also make them smarter. So I'm gonna show you how this toothbrush right here can give you better balance, all right? So one of my favorite things to do when people are learning a new habit is to anchor a new habit to an old habit. So assuming that you brush your teeth every day, sometimes maybe in the morning and the night, you can also practice standing on one foot while you brush your teeth, which is one of the best balance exercises to strengthen the feet. So it'll look like this. Spread your toes, grab the ground, get that nice arch going like we activated before, lift your knee up, and go ahead and brush your teeth for a minute on this side, and then switch sides, reset the foot, and brush your teeth for a minute on this side. Now at first it might be hard for you to balance, so go ahead and use your hand on like the counter or the wall for support. And my favorite way to use that is when you're balancing, put five fingers down, and then maybe the next day you put four fingers down, three fingers, two fingers, one finger, and finally, just barely touching one finger for balance, lift that arm up, and what you'll notice is you'll start feeling your feet pivoting from side to side, getting smarter, that arch is activated, and over time, a smarter, stronger foot is going to mean a foot that has less pain and less likelihood of re-experiencing plantar fasciitis. So, anchor that balance exercise to you brushing your teeth, and in the long run, I promise you won't regret doing it. There you have it. Three different ways that you can try to get rid of that foot pain and get rid of that plantar fasciitis. Now, another part of people's body that often hurts is their shoulders. And one of our most popular videos was this one right here that shows you how to get rid of shoulder pain. So, if you also have any aches and pains in your shoulders, then I highly recommend you check that out right here. I'll see you over there in that video.